to that interview something for everyone that's the goal at PNC Broadway and this year I'd say they certainly achieved it take a look at this lineup wicked Tina the Tina Turner musical frozen clue six and Beetlejuice here now Leslie Broker president of PNC Broadway in Louisville thank you so much for coming in You've oh, been busy. thank you for having me oh it's so <laughs> much fun I love it I love sharing the season okay let's start with clue I didn't know that this was a Broadway show. What's the premise here? So it's based on the Hasbro game. Everybody loves the movie, so it follows that fairly closely. Mm -hmm. The music bed from the movie has been licensed for this play. So okay. you get the whodunit. I mean, it's, you know, Mrs. Peacock and <laughs> Professor Plum. It's true to form, and it'll make you laugh. And you think that's one that people might not be expecting to really enjoy, but it, it could be the winner. I, always, I think it's going to be the sleeper. I think Ooh. folks will come in, and we've been sneaking a few plays into the musical mm -hmm. fest that we tend to be and I think they're really gonna like it. Okay, very excited for that one. Next, Beetlejuice, the tour actually premiering right here in Kentucky. That tax break giving us some cool opportunities. That's here. right. They they put Broadway into the Film Commission tax break, which is now luring people. You'll remember we just did Jagged Little Pill last mm -hmm. fall, mm -hmm. which was great to send it it's on its way. And now to have it premiere, I believe, in Owensboro um, is terrific. And so what does that do for our industry here? I mean, are we, are we getting bigger and better tours? Well, I think it makes, it's got everybody taking a look now at Kentucky and to be able to, I think it's pride is one thing. It saves the show some money to be able to go on the road. But then when Jagged Little Pill or Beetlejuice makes its way across the country, it's got Kentucky fingerprints, our mm -hmm. stage hands, our wardrobe. So I think there's a lot of pride in it as well as financial pickup. Very cool, just to even say that it started here. Okay, finally, Wicked and Six. Two just incredible shows. I mean, everybody knows and loves Wicked. Right. I was lucky enough to see, see Six in New York last year. Probably my new favorite. I mean, those are just huge. Well, Wicked hasn't been here for eight years. We had it teed up to come in 21, and we all know what happened then. So to have it back right on the cusp of its 20th anniversary on Broadway, it's two weeks later. Oh, my gosh. Um, six amazing, the six wives or queens of Henry VIII. Mm -hmm. um, it's very high energy. It's 80 minutes, no intermission. But I think learning more about the queens, and it's it's always been about Henry VIII, right? Mm -hmm. And now we get to see the queen's perspective. So appropriate in Women's History Month that's to be right, that's giving them right. a little shout out here. Well, Leslie, <laughs> this lineup is just absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for bringing these great shows to the area. I cannot wait to see them. Thanks for your support. Thank you.